The perfect wife. It's a damn shame I have to kill her. I have no choice. I owe money to guys you never, ever want to owe money to. Get the money, Filmston. A lot of money. She just happens to have the right amount of money in her insurance policy to get me off the hook. Better her than me. I'll be down in a sec. Ah, uh, what a beautiful day. I wish I could stay here forever. You just keep drinking that wine and your wish will come true. What? Huh? I said you've hardly touched your chicken. Oh, yeah. It's really salty. Nonsense. You like it that way. Besides, a little salt never hurt anybody. Donna told me her husband used to sprinkle salt on just about everything he ate. How is old Donna? You're gonna have to remind me to uh, thank her for loaning us the basket. Oh, she's fine. She wanted to know how my dancing career was going. What dancing career? That's what I said. I don't want you taking some magic potion from the old world that's going to make your chin as hairy as Donna's. Oh, I don't take it. It's for you. Bravo! And here I thought I was chasing a guy with identity issues. And the whole time, I'm chasing a sweet little girly girl. I must say, honey, I am impressed. I did my part, now get me out of here. Just pay me and I'll go. So, you, my dear, don't get off as easy. I'd like to introduce you to my dog. Pain in the ass, dog. Dog, pain in the ass. Now, fetch. Never, ever, in 20 years, never. You are gonna wake up early tomorrow and you're gonna work with me and Dawn. And so help me God, you are gonna tell some jokes on that stage. Now, go get a mop and clean up your puke off of my stage. Pull it together, Charlie. You're all right. No, you ain't all right. You got something on your shirt. No wonder. When I asked him to be the wedding party, he said, you sure? I got 200 people waiting for you to marry this girl. God, I love her. Fuck, I hate that slut. Have you figured out what you want yet? Just coffee. I should have listened to my mother. She never liked her. What time is it? It's 11.30. We're supposed to be there by 9. My God, we are so late. 